Howdy ho, everyone! Lossity here, back in action for more looking attraction. That's right, there seems to be extra stuff around here, and we keep looking and looking. And this is probably gonna set up for something else that I don't want to get to yet, so that's why we're looking elsewhere. So we're trying to solve the case of who spoiled the ending of the movie, which is apparently something people care about. I don't know why. What pot of machine polish? That looks like some kind of shopping list. Apart from the thin layer of dust, everything appears to be very neatly arranged. This desk is a hundred times tardier than uh, yours, cat. Take notes. Yeah, never. Never. I have a system. This is an editing desk, I suppose. Or oh, checking in the film before it's run through the projections. The gloves are presumably to stop fingerprints from getting onto the film. Ah, that's pretty cool. Round thing spins if you touch it. Look! <laughs> Fun game! A dog just spinning a wheel is just so cute to me. It's like, dogs are just inherently little curious little creatures. But like, in the sense that like, if they just see it. It's it's really, really cute actually. I love dogs. They're so cute. So um, is this one Albertina? I is it? No, 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 that's Rosalind! Her is the word next to her. Oh, I do apologize. Look, it's easy to tell. Albertidas, the one with the beautiful curves. Uh, Rizaline's the one with the gleaming skin. Barking. Completely barking. Of course, Albertina doesn't always listen to what you tell her. <laughs> That's just part of the charm. Is it? I... I see. Yeah, he is a little weird, a little, little nutso. <laughs> You're a cutie, Alpatine. Uh, you, you, and you, uh, Rosalind. Not too early, I haven't forgotten you. Okay. He's definitely a little, a little out there. You really look after your machines, don't you, Mr. Frames? They're all gleaming. Of course I do! It's vital to ensure all the equipment here's in perfect working order every single day. The Catherine sisters over there are no exception. The Catherine sisters? The sisters of yours, are they? I think, miss, that they're the names of the film reels? Oh! <laughs> yes, I can see that now. The Catherine reels. What a good name for them. <laughs> you think so? I'm afraid I don't see it. Are you? I do not see it either. There's just a lot of nonsense around here. Um, anything else? Well, let's look at this. Ceiling hatch? It certainly uh, deserves investigation. Have you noticed something, Ernest? I knew it! There's a puzzle hiding here, miss! Look! Oh, no! Not a puzzle! Rot fishing too. Oh, we done this. Sharks on the prowl. You have to catch three types of the different bait. Yeah, I remember this being the case. So I don't know what this do. It's a lot. Hmm. That might work for it. I I think that would be really good. The big square. <laughs> hmm. Well, you have another one that's like that, so should be able to get this pretty simply. Yo. Then we got it. Done skis. Easy p p please. I've seen how to solve this now. Yay! And that's how it's done. You did it. Uh, you caught the loads of fish. That's tonight's dinner uh, taken care of then. Just need to find something selling chips with a healthy sprinkling of salt and vinegar to go with your fish. Wait, healthy? Wait, salt and vinegar? Does this game stand that? Get out of my house. Oh, jolly good, miss. It was inspiring to watch. 
Puzzle is solved, but the mystery of what lies behind the hatch remains. Okay. There seems to be some kind of storeroom behind this little door. Old film uh, fills projection equipment and all sorts of other things that I haven't the foggiest about. Oh no, all this dust is going to straighten my butt. Buzz. Buzz. Mush! Muzzle. I think that's it. We just need to talk to Mr. Freakso himself. Freaks McGee and all that B. Alright, yeah, you just got a bird and it's him. Excuse me, Mr. Frames. Uh, could you tell us uh, what you were doing before the screening today? Hmm. You expected me to talk to you. You can help me solve this puzzle first. Oh? A puzzle. The little girl's favorite toy has been broken. You found all the pieces, various chips and wires, but you need to work out where the circuit board they go in order to fix uh, the toy. Press and hold A to pick up the components. Uh, wires can cross each other, but the chips can't have anything running over them. Okay. So... What are we doing exactly? I'm just trying to figure out how do we... Like, what are we supposed to be doing? If we can rotate this, this would definitely help. Are we just supposed to put these in here and it just does it? Something about the chips, can't do things. Get rid of this. Yeah, I'm guessing we just have to put them in here. Put them all together. Okay, I see how it's supposed to What? No, why is that a no? Why can't I do it? This seems to be the correct thing that I need to do, though. A hundred percent. That feels right. Why does that not work? Oh, because it's on a chip. That's why. Okay, I'm seeing why. That's the... There we go. I have a feeling that perhaps... That was pretty Still fun, actually. Yeah, lately, I like those little chef things. You... You did it! Fixing toys like this is a piece of cake to an electric uh, whiz like you. The little girl is over the moon to have her precious toy working again. Oh, that's cute! Look at that! They're all happy! Look at her! She's so cute! With her little face! Okay, that was pretty impressive. So you'll uh, talk to us now? I'd like to know what you were doing uh, before the screening today. Fine, all right then. I was in here, of course, making sure my machines were in tip-top working order. So you were the one who actually ran the film? Yeah, I was pretty shocked uh, when the last uh, reel suddenly skipped a scene. And would you have any idea who might have stolen the kiss scene? Uh, no, not really. I mean, I really don't care, it's only a film, for goodness sake. Based. Based opinion. Films don't matter. Whatsoever. They, they've done nothing in society. Video games, books, and TV shows, and, and specials. All have contributed more than a movie ever has. <laughs> Like, oh no, I'm mad at you. How can you say that? How can you say that to me? I'm just trying to get your goat, really? That's just more what it is? I generally don't care if you like movies. Go ahead. Just don't make me watch a movie, alright? I'm being bitter about that. I'm still mad at that girl that was like, hey, let's hang out for the weekend, the Thanksgiving weekend. I was like, okay, cool. And she showed me all the Fast and Furious movies. I'm not gonna get over it. That's just not gonna happen. Not this year. Yes, about that, Mr. Frames. Even though you work in the cinema, you get the impression you don't really like films, is that it? Is that right? 
just like me for real. Obviously. It's the machines I love. Give me Alberta. A Reliza a flat Linda a here over stupid film any day. Now that reminds me. I gotta get uh Belinda uh, cleaned up. We can't let the spare equipment uh, get dirty just because you're not using it. The chap certainly does love his machines. Sold another piece of the puzzle, but it's a smaller piece of the puzzle. Projectionist a senior films uh, frames has named all his beloved equipment, but has little interest in films. For the screening, he was uh, in the projection. I'm guessing it's this motherfucker. It seems the most correct. Well, I think it concludes our investigation of the projection box. Other than the machine mad uh, Seymour Frames and his pet Minabird, nothing seemed to stand out as being unusual. Hmm, yes. Ah, she certainly seemed to be uh, deep in thought, miss. Are you figuring it all out uh, with those little gray sitters of yours? As Inspector Hastings calls them. I got it. I know exactly uh, where we need to head to next. But by the shadow of a doubt, hmm, the snack kiosk. Seriously? I refuse to leave without my free popcorn. <laughs> She's so real for this. <laughs> I practically see the little kernels of corn uh, popping around inside her he your head at the moment. Miss, we have to focus on the case. The head of the great uh, Leighton Detective Agency, with all its proud history and tradition, can't be distracted by such things. What is history and tradition? Can't only just set the place up. Well, all right, but we'll have a proud history and tradition in the future. If we could just get our heads off popcorn. A long wait in the future. As it stands, we have no uh, leads at all. I think we should investigate another part of the theater. I've got a point. Snoop it before snacks. Come on. Well, if the two of you don't want to come with me, I'll go on my own. Uh, like a dog with a bone, as usual. Let's turn our attention back to the case. Presumably there's an editor uh, here as well. What do you think we should see if uh, we can interview him or her? Quit, uh, quit thinking. Go fast, pinstripes. How do we uh, go about uh, finding the editor? Well, I suppose we could ask Mr. Frames. Pardon me, Mr. Frames. We'd like to talk to whoever was in charge of editing the premiere. You mean Eddie, uh, Jory? He's the editing uh, technician. Uh, Richter's famous editing assistant. Yeah, he's one of the most senior members of Richter's crew. He was here for the screening today. Well, given that it's the editor's job to cut and splice the film, I think we should go speak with him. He may uh, well know something about the missing king kiss scene. Where can we find him? Good question. I don't know where he disappeared to after the screening. Perhaps he's still in the theater. Let's go and ask around if anyone's seen him miss. Alright, as soon as I got my popcorn, we'll go on the hunt for Mr. Torrid. Let it go, cat. Uh, maybe it will be quicker to, in the long run if we just go to the snack kiosk now. And get out of the, uh, Get it out of the way. Very well, miss you in. Let's head to the kiosk. Finally. Popcorn! Delicious popcorn! We love our popcorn! There are still one or two people around, even though most people have left now. Never mind that, it's popcorn time! Now I just need to give the coupon Ernest has to the member of the staff of the kiosk, and the dear and delight will be mine. Obsessed! You're obsessed! Oh damn! A whole bunch. A whole bunch of sheep around here. Oh, hello, Catrio. What a terrible thing to have happened. I can't believe someone would steal the end of the film. I'm afraid I do have to ask, Piper. Uh, this isn't one of your another one of your ruses, is it? No. And then why are you still here at the theater? The culprit often returns to the scene of the crime, you know. No, no. I felt it my duty as mayor to see if there was anything I could do to help smooth things. 
over after all this whole baloo before. Ah, uh, but we only know, uh, you enjoy a good hullabaloo, don't we? <laughs> like the hullabaloo of the festival, for example. No, 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 no. <laughs> I, I got you in the bag. Yeah, same thing. Oh, you're still here, are you? May I ask what you're doing here, madam? Are you going home uh, now that the screening has been cancelled? <laughs> Goodness me, no. Not before I finish my popcorn, at least. And that rich, buttery aroma and the deep, invasive scent of durian that wafts out from deep inside the tub. I've sampled dishes from all over the world, but even I find myself taken aback by this culinary masterstroke. A deep and face of scent. Really? Oh, I knew it'd be amazing. I have to try it. <laughs> you don't want a face of scent as a thing. Oh, uh, yes. What can I do for you? Oh, aren't you the chap who shoved us into the theater before? Oh, uh, yes. Other staff members were individually assigned to take care of our VIP guests. So, yes, we are a little short on hands for the usual running of the theater. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm having to do everything myself. Mm, greeting uh, theater goers, showing them to the seats, manning the snack kiosk, cleaning. Uh huh. Yes, I can't be in enough places at once. Gosh, you sound awfully overworked. Like someone else I can mention. Answer the phone, make it tea, clean the office. Helping with investigations. Stop a million pinstripes. Oh, I, I don't mind. I'm very proud to be able to help such an esteemed uh, detective as Miss Layton. You are? Well, I'm sorry to trouble you uh, when you're obviously so busy. But I'd like some durian popcorn, please. Here's my coupon. Oh, yes, of course. I'll be delighted to serve you. Except that I'm terribly sorry, but I can't. You see, uh... Yes, I'm afraid the daily special. A popcorn is all sold out, yes. Um, I knew I should have come earlier. It was always uh, going to uh, go quickly. It's such a knockout flavor. Oh, yeah, anyone could have predicted that. Oh, uh, yes, I do have something else I could offer you instead. Mm, puzzle. I guess it's something. Six of one. The three panels are expressing the number six. Change the order uh, and orient, uh, orientation of the panel to make uh, six in another way. And not one plus five or five plus one. Uh, press A over the button thing. Okay. Panel. Fifty-one! How would you- how would you do that? Did not make them leave. There's only so many ways that you could put this. I'll rotate it. Ooh. Ooh. Uh... Minus... What? Five minus X? Oh! 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 There you go, baby. Sex. A good puzzle is something you have to chew over. They do not show Lucy Combs for nothing. Let's go. You did it. The answer was to represent six in letters. Sex. <laughs> I do hope that satisfied your appetite for something unusual, yes? Oh, uh, well, I suppose I'll just have to give up on the popcorn now and get on with solving this case. Finally, we can put all that popcorn nonsense behind us. Isn't it funny when the mayor, you know, that minor bird, knew the word popcorn? And we're back. Oh, yes, actually. That was the one who taught him to say that, yes. Oh, really? Oh, yes, sometimes I take a snack of popcorn to the British room. You know, oh, I've even uh, seen the Major out of his cage before. You mean Mr. Frames lets the bird fly free? 
Oh, yes, I believe so. Oh, I mean, they sometimes, of course. Otherwise, yes. Uh, he could get into rather a lot of trouble. And quite often, the Major eats all the popcorn before uh, Seymour gets a look in. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, it's true. And that's how the bird picked up the word popcorn in the first place, yes? I even took a tub of uh, durian popcorn up there earlier today. And the Major had it at all. And yes, I just took my eye off him for a moment. He gobbled every last piece. An entire tub, by Jove. That's a bit of an appetite, all right. Oh, yes, it was as surprised as you are. Oh, but I think even the Major might have overdone it at uh, that time. Yes, it seemed to give me a uh, tummy ache. <laughs> ah, that lucky thing. I wish I could eat so much uh, Duran popcorn that my tummy ached. But I must stop pinning for something I can't have. Yes, it's time we spoke to Mr. Torin, the editor. Oh, what? That was all in the popcorn? I feel your pain, Cheryl. We must find Mr. Torrell, uh, Torin now. You know where he is? Yes, I saw him. Just a few moments ago, actually. Yes, he was on his way uh, out of the door. Oh, quickly, uh, then. Everyone, we have to catch up to him before he goes home. You're allowed to fly free. Hmm. I see, I see. Seems the Major is sometimes allowed to fly free in the production room and has been known to get through a lot of popcorn on occasion. Um, weem. Yes. Both the guests have gone home. It's deserted in the lobby and outside. How about that man uh, standing by the entrance? Do you think uh, he could be Eddie Toad? A uh, Torrid? He won't know unless we ask him. That's him? This this schmuck? That schmojo? Sure. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Here, but he's getting... No. Not even like the passerby jogger, which would have been rather interesting. Excuse me, are you Mr. Turin, the editor? I am if you were. I'm Katria Leighton, for the Leighton Detective Agency. You probably heard of me. Yep. Ah, uh, well, that's a shame. Still, uh, you know me now, uh, don't you? <laughs> Mr. Bar Nunn has asked me and my colleagues to investigate the case of the stolen kiss scene. I'd very much like to take a statement from you, Mr. Torin. After all, you've worked with uh, Maverick D. Rector for many years, haven't you? I'm surprised a kid your age has ever heard of me. All right, let's see what else you know. I bet you haven't uh, heard of this Rector film, have you? Tales of the Unexpected. There's been an accident, uh, incident at the farm where all the cows have disappeared. According to a witness, a UFO sucked them all up and some aliens came out. Now for reasons that will remain classified, you need to place an alien in each of the spaces where there is currently a cow. Let a cow to suck up into a UFO and swap with an alien, and vice versa. The creatures coming down from the UFO will take the other empty space. Uh. Oop. And we're just trying to get this one, right? That's a cow. That's a Mr. Moomer. Mm. A cow again. What if I just undo this real quick? And get something like this. No. No, wait, no, no, wait. I, I think I could do it. Okay, cool, 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 cool. I want to make sure it's the lowest amount possible. We're going to get it all this way.
There we go. How do I get... Hmm. I need to basically get it to where the cow lands over here. That's a little harder than I thought it'd be. Can I... There we go. That's good. We got it. This will do it for sure. Ilbium, Ilbium, Ilbium. I have a feeling that perhaps... Don't Still no match on Miss Layton, of course. You did it! Oh, looks like the aliens just came to have some fun. The night drawing to a close, you will wave them goodbye as they set off for home. Nice. How did you find it? Not a bad action dealer. Well, I'll say, UFOs and aliens always uh, make for a jolly good tale. I know what film it is. It's a rare, rarely seen slides a uh, close equations of the third kind. All right, now I'm impressed. The actor was still a newcomer, so the film uh, had a case of total unknowns. They quickly disappeared from the big screen. And the production our company went bankrupt as well, though it's never been reshown. One of the most talked about films among erect fans. Hold on. Do you really know your stuff, kid? Okay, by your way. What do you want to ask me? Thank you, Mr. Torn. <laughs> so first of all, can you confirm that you were at the screening earlier? Yeah, I was there. Wanted to see everyone's reaction to our latest film, to be honest. But then that happened. It's unbelievable. You know, I've worked closely with Maverick for a long time now. And I've never, never experienced it like this before. My job to cut Maverick's films in my job alone. Can I ask where you were immediately before the screening today, Mr. Torrin? I was with the Mavericks. We were checking over the film together. Needless to say, there was nothing wrong. Then, other than us arguing again, Agring? What about? Well, you probably don't know, but the Mavericks uh, films used to be a lot more fringed. A lot more hint edgy. It's that kind of work that attracted me to Mavericks' direction in the first place. I've stuck with him ever since. But in recent years, he's gone for the popular vote. He's been shooting the kind of overly sentimental droves that the public seem to lap up. And that, I... Final Kissing is the latest film is, uh, well, never sat right with me from the, from the start. The Maverick won't listen to me, would he? No. Uh, when we were shooting, or uh, when we were editing, so when we were uh, checking over the film earlier today, I finally said some, I finally said, I don't know the scene that wasn't true to his style, that he'd sold up. The tr uh, two of you quarreled. Yeah, and that's just part of the course. Uh, directors and it is always argue. Always have, always win. Making films sounds like a tricky business. But let me I make one thing clear. Just because we argue, that doesn't mean I do something like that and disappoint all those poor people. I see. Well, thank you, Miss Torrin. No problem. Yeah, catch me whoever uh, did this, alright? I want to know who was responsible. Well, I think I'll be spoken to everyone now. Unsurprisingly, no one stands out as being in the guilty party at this stage. Maybe it wasn't an inside job. Perhaps uh, we should start thinking along different lines. No, I don't think so. I'm still not sure exactly when the scene was cut from the film, but one thing seems fairly certain. It wouldn't have been easy for an outsider to gain access to the film reels in the time window we're looking at. Not to mention the fact that only randomly selected guests and VIPs are allowed entry in the theater at all today. Oh yes, everyone was carefully uh, checked at the door, weren't they? It certainly wouldn't have been easy for anyone else to slip in. And both Rector and Torin uh, say there was nothing wrong with the film when they checked uh, it just before the screening. Though even if someone had managed to slip into the theater unnoticed, they wouldn't have been able to get to the film uh, reels between then and the start of the screening. 
My thoughts exactly, Ernest. If the casing was indeed stolen, it has to have been by a member of the theater staff or the production team. I think you're right. Uh, let's not forget there's someone we haven't managed to speak to properly yet. That's true. Let's find Mr. Rector and see if uh, he can answer some questions this time. I sure hope he's uh, calmed down a little now. Yes, so do I. I want to be still in the lobby. Ooh, bam Found a clue. Romance story. You're once more inclined to fringe in materials. It seems Maverick D. Rector has recently shifted into more mainstream romance-oriented films. 